Alright guys, Doug Wagner here checking in for Hummingbird and today we're going to talk about how I use the features between my Hummingbird units and my Lake Chip Master Chip to target walleyes throughout the season. And one thing for me fishing a giant body of water like I'm on is finding those little irregularities in maybe the shoreline or any kind of structure. So for me, especially in the spring, I do a lot of stuff that's relative to shoreline. It's generally where your water, warmest water temps are. And anywhere where you can see any kind of point or inside turn or even where your brake line gets really, really sharp. Um, is really nice and you can do that with your depth highlight as well with your hummingbird units um, but for me walleyes like a really sharp edge they like to be able to move from shallow to deep water especially when you're in your low light periods um, and i find that those are super super key and if you can eliminate a lot of water very very quickly by just focusing in on those few small areas and then going over them using your side imaging to better understand what's actually there and personally i like really hard transition lines if you can go from a hard to soft bottom or from a weed edge to to say mud or sand seem to be really really key spots for myself and you know once we identify these spots in our lake master chip we can go back through graph through them and start to lay out waypoints as well as i like to auto chart these areas as well and really fine tune exactly where you're at you need to be able to understand what your spot is first and what's going on there before you can effectively fish it in my opinion so i spend a lot of time driving around graphing on new stuff before i even actually make a cast uh, once i kind of have it laid out then i'll go through learn more about it and see if it actually is holding fish so like I say when I'm looking for tight those I really really like the tight transition or the tight uh, brake lines and when you get those really sharp inside turns there's generally that hard soft transition and those fish will land those edges there might be bait relating to those rocks or weeds um, but the walleyes really really like that stuff so basically what we want to do is get our boat in gear and I'm gonna idle around somewhere around the three to four mile an hour mark and I'm just slowly going to swing in and out of these spots. And you can mark these fish as well, especially um, with your side imaging. And basically, any kind of fish that I'll mark, I'll throw a waypoint on. I like to throw waypoints on any kind of points or inside turns where I know those are going to be a little bit higher percentage areas even after that. And then once we get to that fact, um, it's putting the rods out and seeing if we can get these fish to react. All right, so we're just pulling up on this point here. You can see we've got a, a nice extension. We've got some tight brake lines here on our right-hand side. You can see our rock to sand transition here really clear. And uh, I like to lay out these waypoints just right on the edges of here. It's super easy with these Solix units. You can have a very simple touch. This is my rock waypoint. I like to label them red so I know not to go inside of them. And boom, there's our rock, okay? Now you want to lay out this whole entire edge as we go and you'll see these small little points this spot right here now this is a sweet spot right this is your spot on the spot it's a nice small extension right on the point and we want to lay a waypoint right on that right there boom boom done here's another one up here so if you guys want to make specific casts, you know exactly where these waypoints or where these points are at as you lay out your waypoints. Now you can see we've got a big inside turn here going in on this point. That's again going to be another little sweet spot. These fish can maybe hide if you've got any kind of wind current or current from the system itself. They can tuck behind the rocks and hide, hide out of that stuff. All right, so you can see here we're starting to come out of our inside turn. We've got another really nice sharp transition as we're going up the side of this point. And a lot of times you you can actually see fish sitting off the sides of this, um, you know, or laying out in this sand. It's it, it shows up really nice on this mega side. So you now you can see even we pulled out into this and now we've got our hard bottom structure that shoots all the way out. So this inside turn right here, if you've got any kind of wind that blows in here, this is gonna be a sweet spot for your fish to set up on any kind of hard bottom transition like that. Or even if this is your soft bottom to your weed line, that edge is gonna be super crucial. All right, now that we've found our spot with our Lake Master chip, we grafted out with our mega side. We're seeing there's a really nice transition here. There's a ton of sand. It comes to a really hard rock transition. These fish are gonna be hanging out in this area. We're gonna be throwing some lipless crankbaits, some swim baits, making bottom contact, and we should hook into a few fish here.
Just had one absolutely smoke a lipless. Smoke the rip and wrap on the fall. We're right at prime time. The sun is setting. We've got not a giant, but a wall, and it's really cool. I've got a layout of the uh, rocks that we're fishing here on my all waypointed. And this fish, I got the boat held right in the transition and we're casting out into the sand. And this fish was hanging out, out in the sand. Getting ready to push up into the rocks here at night. Nice fish. Pretty, pretty colors. There you have it guys. That's what it looks like when it all comes together. Using your electronics, your Mega SI, your 360 and your Lake Master. Beautiful walleyes.